Two, one, shoot, okay. So we're gonna turn on our calculator. We're going to put the data into our lists. So if I go statistics and edit, I have already have my data in there, all right, because we just did this, but you know, we'll type in stuff, everything in list one, the X values in list one, the Y values in list two, all right? That's very important to remember. And you don't want to get them backwards, all right? So after you've done that, to do regression, first, let's get our, some pertinent data here. So we're going to calculate our two variable statistics so we can get our um, X and Y uh, bars. So here's our X bar right here. Right here, X bar. Scroll down. We can see Y bar right there, okay? Because those will be on our regression line. All right, that's really all you need to, to know about those, but it's nice to have those points, you know, for graphing purposes when you, if you ever have to write these out by hand. Okay, so after we get our x and y variables, our x and y means, all right, we have our standard deviations if they ask about them. We can then go back in statistics. Oops, wait, I forgot one thing. Make sure the diagnostic is on. So we're going to go down to D. That's I. I want D. All right, here's diagnostics on. So catalog, go to the catalog, which is second zero, and then go to diagnostics, which is D, turn it on. All right, that's it. This will allow you to put the R squared and the R uh, values, get them automatically. Otherwise, it just gives you the A plus BX values. And then you have to go find them again. You have to go find off. So this will do that automatically, right? We all like that. That's cool. It's a good thing. So now we're going to have it calculate our standard DV, our uh, regression line. So calc, and this book likes A plus BX form. You can use the AX plus B, but just remember where the variables are. So A plus BX form. Because our, this is the reason we like putting them in L1 and L2, I don't have to type in where, they're going, where the values are. Right? We could do that if we want, but we don't have to. All right. The next thing we want to do is we want to have it graph, put that, the, the regression line right into our graph. So to do that, we go to variables here, go over to y variables, and it's a function because it has an x, right? y equals mx plus b. So enter, and then enter. And now it gives us our a, which is our um, y-intercept, our b, which is our slope, our r squared, and our r. Right? It's calculated all those pieces for us. And to graph it, we go to stat plot which is second y, turn stat plot on. Okay, this is already in, you know, scatter plot mode, so we're good. We now do zoom, and statistics is number nine. Enter, it will graph our data as well as the regression line. Okay, so that's everything there. I realize that wasn't slow motion, but there is a video where this will be up in like two seconds. Well, maybe not two seconds. All right.